Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Prehistoric Kingdom. It has definitely been a while. Sorry, there was a hiatus for Prehistoric Planet. Every day I woke up and I had to watch an episode of Prehistoric Planet and make the review about it, or the reaction video to it. It took a while. It definitely took a while. Uh, so that meant that Prehistoric Kingdom just fell on the back burner for a second, but now let's finish this zoo. We have Argentinosaurus left, and Tyrannosaurus, Triceratops, and Edmontosaurus Anectins to do. I know Microraptor and um, Archaeopteryx are still available to do, but I don't feel like it because they just despawn every time you exit the save and then load back, so it's not really worth my time. I don't feel like every time I enter back in to remake them all. It's unfortunate, but I'm sure Blue Meridian will get around to fixing it. In the last episode, we made our lovely Dino Kyrus here, which made an appearance in Prehistoric Planet. And that was one of my favorite dinosaurs. It just had this subplot where it had to scratch itself. It was a good time. Uh, Prehistoric Planet was an awesome documentary. For those of you who haven't seen it, please just get over it. Do it. Do it already. <laughs> you won't regret it, I swear. Oh, it's so majestic. Oh, those are spoilers in the background. Okay. So, for our names, we have Grievous. I'm not quite sure how this applies to Dino Kyrus, but I'm never going to pass up on a Star Wars name. Grievous, the Separatist General. Okay. And I don't know how to pronounce this one. And I don't remember where it's from. Actually, I don't think I know where it's from. Is it something like Dino King or something? Not First sure. Discovered as okay, a sorry, Nigel. <laughs> not sure. Readily? Retali? Not sure. Don't know. Itchy? <laughs> from as a reference to a uh, prehistoric planet, it just has to scratch itself. Oh, that's a cute way it sleeps. It's kind of very goose-like, or like a swan. Very cute, itchy. Daffy. Okay, let's get the light on. Daffy. Um, after Daffy Duck from Looney Tunes. There's also a recommendation for Donald, but Daffy is cooler. Donald Duck can go suck an egg. <laughs> okay, you're just getting stuck. Here you go. There you go, Daffy. I mean, Daffy was never the brightest. And that's all of them. Okay, good names. Solid names. Now let's look at our Coronasauruses. So here's China. Now that. Okay. China. Um. A potential candidate, we're not sure, you know, totally innocent, no, nothing ever goes wrong in China, um, who may have contributed to the coronavirus, and that's why it's called China. I mean, uh, uh, it's the commenter saying it, not me. Please don't make me lose some social credit points. <laughs> I don't want to end up in a weaker concentration camp, please. Oh, sorry, those don't exist either. Um, <clears throat> China does nothing wrong. Yeah, let's just suck up to China. As Hollywood would. Uh, Huey. Not quite sure why it would be Huey, but... Um, nice name. <laughs> Unless this is a reference to Baby Huey. This very obscure, stupid show about a giant baby duck, or is it a chicken? Not sure. And uh, there's a movie that I saw a few too many times, because it was just so stupid. Um, yes, yeah, so let's move on from Huey. <laughs> Tuba. For obvious reasons. Tuba's taking a nap though. Tuba can really use a wish right now. A wish right now. It just goes so perfectly with the Starry Night. Okay, so now that takes us back to the normal Parasaur office Walker. Right? Oh, Corona. I mean, Coronasaurus. So, Coronavirus, Coronasaurus. Makes sense. Thank you for that. And Paris. Pretty name. These are from Asia, but you know, Paris works. It's a nice name. Cool, cool. And we're back to Walkerai. So let's let's move on. 
That was about a week ago. Oh gosh, I just got flashbacks to like 2013. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Ugh, that was a time. Vine was stupid. And so is TikTok. TikTok is stupid. <laughs> like, there's just no way for it to not be cringe. It's always cringe. And for those of you who think it's not cringe, you're probably one of the people making cringe. Sorry to break it to you. Yeah, TikTok is cringe. I have a love-hate relationship with cringe videos. I just, I'll just watch the videos just to see how cringe they are. And how am I supposed to build at this time of night? Thank you, game, for that. So, <laughs> I did make a few changes. I pushed the entrance far back because we were kind of boxed in here. We didn't have much space to expand uh, for a giant Argentinosaurus exhibit. And except for like this area here, which I can easily access, but then this is going to be the Hull Creek area. And I don't want that to happen. Um, and this area here is the mammalian section. So I didn't want to put an Argentinosaurus exhibit right in the middle of the mammals. Um, but yeah, so I just had to expand the entrance and move it back. Alright. And now, for surprise number two, you will see this lovely building, the viewing tower. Now this is straight out of JPOG. Oh, I don't know why you lost your trees. Why are your trees gone? Huh, so I think for the trees, they disappear. Like, I, I put these down modularly, but they still are subject to this, which is unfortunate. All right, so I took some time to fix this. Added some more trees back in to make it look more accurate, because Actually, in JPOG, if you ever plop down this asset, it always comes with a bunch of trees circling it. So I know I saved that. It's not perfect. There are stairs. There are not stairs in JPOG. Um, because there's an actual elevator that lifts the guests up and then they can just walk around and view freely. Uh, but no elevators in this game, so I had to just make a bunch of stairs. So this is very um, unaccessible to some people. Which is kind of a problem. It is a problem. But it's the best I could do in game. That is unfortunate. Okay, so. Argentina source. I can delete this. This is like the baseline. I'm editing this one. I need to cut. Give me that. Alright, cut this part out. Because I'm going to connect them in a big walkway bridge thing. It'll be very pretty. Excuse me. Can I can I just grab? It, oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Come on. Just let me just let me grab. No, it just doesn't like that part. Okay, I'm gonna make a walkway between them. Um, let's see here. Just grab that, I guess. Grab this. Grab this. No. Okay. Grab that. And let's just bring it back. Okay. Alright, like that. That's pretty good. That's thick enough. And then this walkway will connect over here, but this part is kind of shorter. Oh, I have to raise it up a little. Here. Take that. Good. Okay, good. And, ooh, that angle is all off. All kinds of wonk right there. I'll probably do that on my own time. That's tedious. Let's make the actual exhibit now. You've waited long enough. So, I also want a viewing area over here, which I'd probably also do off camera. Yeah, it's going to be a viewing area over here. Uh, a shorter one and then a taller one. Sounds good to me. That's typically how it goes. Okay, let's get this thing built. We don't have those invisible fences yet. There is an update coming. Um, I think, well, there's a minor update that's coming in a few weeks, maybe a week or two. It's 
So that's going to be a more minor bug fixes, optimization, that sort of thing. But then I want to say July is when we get a lot of stuff. Does that make sense? No. Okay. Yeah. In July, we're getting those invisible fences that I've been craving to make the boundaries of your exhibits. Uh, Dilophosaurus is confirmed, as well as two other animals. But they, they released a picture of the updated Dilophosaurus, and it just looks phenomenal. This is ugly. I don't want that. No. Get out of here. Um, they've been doing this, so... During, like, um, preparing for early access, they'll have the dinosaurs, or, like, dinosaur models already made, but then, over the course of development, go back and just adjust the models a little. Well, a lot -o. <laughs> It always ends up just looking twice as fantastic as it did before. So the, the Dilophosaurus is no exception to this. It looks phenomenal. Like, Blue Meridian really just outdid themselves. Now, how large is this already? This isn't that big. This is about the size as the Acro exhibit. So we might need to... I don't know. Bring this, like, here. And then go like this. This is Argentinosaurus. Argentinosaurus is the largest dinosaur, or largest dinosaur that we can confirm its large size. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of all this. We don't need this nonsense. Oh, that's a lot of nonsense. Here, give me some money. You get money from cutting down trees, which is good. How large? How large? 53,000. That's not as large as the Brachiosaurus and Camarasaurus, but it should be big enough, I think. You can go like that, and now have offshoots for other future exhibits, like Dilophosaurus can go over here. Yeah, it seems fine to me. And oof. I was not cooperating with the terrain here. Let's just get this deleted for the time being. That's awkward. Alright. Less awkwardness. There we go. Uh, I'm not sure what those other two dinosaurs will be. Hmm. It's hard to tell. Possibly Prenocephalae? Uh, Prenocephale was in early builds. I've seen some people with early access, not in early access, but some people with early access to Prenocephale, so I'm sure they're very far with their work on that one. <laughs> I love how I just like did this subconsciously. Oh, can I pick you now? No, it likes all the others, but this one. Maybe Allosaurus. Because Allosaurus was another one of those dinosaurs that you saw a, a lot of early information on. Like, you got to see its walk cycles, its animations, its sounds. Which was nice, and that indicates to me that they made progress on that before a lot of other dinosaurs. Kind of like Edmontosaurus. Edmontosaurus was the same way. It was an example pretty much all the time when they were testing out new things oh my gosh <laughs> I don't have the patience to do this on camera on camera everything has to be snappy snappy for YouTube you know let's get our Argentina sources see what they like in an exhibit guys what do you like so I got this skin cuz I like this skin oh it's amazing it is amazing. I love the osteoderms down the back. Oh, and the, the pillar feet. The long tail. They gave it a more diplodocid like head, which is fine. So he likes tropical and scrubland. Ooh, 
Okay, you can be like another addition to the tropical section. We'll integrate you into the to the theme. Oh man, this is expensive here. Three males, three females. Sounds good to me. How? Oh, I'm swimming in money. Money is not. It does not matter. It's not an object. Okay, so forty to seventy percent forest, fifteen to forty percent water. That's pretty good. I can definitely work with something like that. Okay, uh, let's get the water first, just so we can build around the water. One meter is fine. Okay, let's just let's get something to. Why? Ew! Why does it look like that? <laughs> Right, let's make that larger. That looks inappropriate. Okay. Let's just make a nice river. And then some, like, I don't know, estuaries going around here. Now, is that good? How much water? 21. That's fine. We can put more in. Yeah, why the heck not? We have another lake here. Why the Shrek wouldn't we? Alright, good. I like it. And we need to give them housing. Soil pot house. We haven't used this before. It looks very circusy, like something you'd see for giraffes. Makes sense to me. That is kind of a waste of space though. The space here. It's not the most efficient, but it'll do. And trees. No, rocks. Important. Rocks. Whoops. <laughs> rocks are super important. And this color is fine. Uh, I can make it brighter here. It would be nice if it saved object colors so you can say use it for later. Okay, brighter rocks. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't play like that. I don't play like that. I want the single groups right here. And th this exhibit is just so massive. Like, you just need big rocks everywhere to fill in the space. And they'll be dwarfed by the Argentinosaurus. I would love to see mods for a prehistoric planet. I'm sure there are people already modding this. I haven't checked out any mods yet because, I mean, the game is still developing. I want to get the base vanilla game experience first before I dive into modding, but still, it'd be interesting to see what people would come up with. Um, yeah, I, I want to see the... Oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, I completely forgot to color these. Oh, no. And that looks wrong. Here, we'll, we'll ignore that for a second. We'll just... Oh, might look a little more wrong now. There, that looks cool. Did I rock this enough? No, I didn't rock this enough yet. Here, go like that. Yeah, but, uh, I'd love to see the Dreadnoughtus with its inflatable sacks in this game. Uh, the Dinochirus doesn't look too dissimilar from what we have. Then, uh, Hank the Tyrannosaurus. That'd be a nice mod. I'm sure that's already a thing in Evolution 2, since the community's already modded that to heck. But... I don't know, that game's not as much for me as this is. I just find this more enjoyable. Not that Evolution 2 is bad, it is good. They improved from the first game a lot. But uh, this is more for me. And for that JPOG park I was saying. We have a lot of JPOG dinosaurs in here, but a few are missing. I'm pretty sure Home Alicephale is seen as its own valid genus now, but you can just make a young Prinocephale. Albertosaurus is missing. Someone can mod that in. Uh, Miragaya can 
build a wall as Kenchosaurus. Okay. Good thing I can do this. And there we go. Just to brighten up the exhibit a bit. And there are other ideas I had too for the future, like a city, a dinosaur city area. I, mean, I hinted at that when I made my Chrysler building, but I don't know, I just got preoccupied in this one, in this zoo. I was also thinking about making a dubious park. I was going to call it Wastebasket World, and I might still do that, but I need them to introduce Ontogeny first so I can get Raptor Rex, Nanotyrannus in there. Why are you not powered? There we go. There we go, that's hot. That's hot. Um, differing terrain. Let's mess with the terrain a bit. Here, that makes it look just more natural, more believable. The world isn't very flat, unless you're like in Florida or Kansas. Or my ex-girlfriends, but... <laughs> the world isn't that flat. There. That looks real enough. Real enough, that's what we're striving for. Okay, now this is going to be more tropical. Let's lower that density. There. The, the Argentinosaurus like trees, so I'm going to take advantage of this opportunity and fill it with trees. Because I never get to do this. But how are we doing? Only 33%, that's actually too low for a change. Here, so let's get some plants in and raise that density. There we go. Now that will look more natural. You want those plants in your forest. Well, I mean, big brain time. It's big brain time. Yes, forests have plants. Great. But now it looks better. How? Where are we at? How are we? 74. Which is a bit much, but that's fine because I need to get rid of these. Remove that. Okay. Now where are we at? 73. Oh man. Alright, get rid of some of the plants. I did go a bit overboard here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was only at 33 before the plants. There we go, 65. That's acceptable. Now, terrain. Let's make this... Do I like this clay? Hmm. No, I want sand. Oh... About sand in like these more lakey areas, and then we'll go into this <laughs> gravelish texture. Okay. So it'll transition. Actually, but then here it would be more muddy since it's more. Uh, Wet Lindy. I am very much overthinking this, but you have to make it seem believable. If it doesn't seem believable, then audiences aren't going to buy it. Is there mud here? Substrate, that might work. The Argentinosaurus don't like wetland, so I can't just use their mud. Okay, I think we're in a good spot right now. Oh, the game is going crazy. Yeah, that doesn't look bad at all. I'll take it. I'll buy it. That's enough. Uh, yes, but I like when dinosaurs like different things, so you can just blend the different uh, styles together. Alright, and now we need... Oh, we need food. And that's about it. They get their food, and then they're happy. Lots of food, though. That is another thing that's going to be added. I think that's a July thing. 
I don't think that's a June thing. Um, you'll have to refill your food. Like the feeders will run out. You'll have to order more food and then use the food you ordered to restock them. Yeah, yeah, I'm liking it. I need to finish the ways you're going to view it. We'll look at that next episode. But right now, I'm liking it. Am I missing anything? Enrichment. Do they even need enrichment? Frozen fruit block? Everyone loves a good frozen fruit block. I don't know if the sword pods are gonna care though. And dung beetles. I'm gonna need a lot of dung beetles. An animal this big? Yeah. Lots and lots of dung beetles. Okay. Oh. We've been paused this entire time, so now let's beat that up. I have to wait for the Argentina sources to actually spawn. But even if you're just going on the viewing platform, this is still a very nice view. It's very pretty. Okay, I kind of like that the, the sight lines are being blocked a little, so you don't just see everything at once. That gets boring. You have to look around and put an effort into it. But yeah, it looks nice. I would live here if I were an Argentinosaurus. What, do, what would it look like from the other end? Actually, let me just release them first. Oh, man, I thought this was big. It's actually kind of small. <laughs> you just forget how insanely massive they are. And are you at 100? Yeah, 100, okay. Yeah, you forget how giant these are, so... You're not ready to make an exhibit so big, you don't realize. Okay, let's close that and just look at the view. Is this even tall enough? <laughs> yeah, this is probably tall enough, as long as they bend their necks down a little. If they're being straight up, then yeah, that might be not tall enough. The poor people have to walk all this way up. It's it's a workout, I swear. If people can't do the Philadelphia steps, how are they possibly going to do this? Maybe we can at least get an escalator up here. Yeah, they are still very, very cool. I don't think they move as fluidly as the other dinosaurs. Now, I've seen skeletons of Argentinosaurus before, but nothing can prepare you for the sheer immensity of this dinosaur in the flesh. A single vertebrae from the back of this animal could be over a metre and a half tall. Oh, just chowing down, eating some plants. What a lovely dinosaur. It is gigantic. Like this game is probably the closest we'll ever get to seeing this in real life. Just experiencing being here on the ground, looking up at this massive thing. It's the size of a building, a big building. Oh man, it's so cool. Oh, that is that is screenshot material. Okay, kind of looks inappropriate. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. Let's go. Oh. I guess it's so big it's hard to like have them move across the terrain fluidly. Oh, they're moving at twice the speed. That's why they look weird. That's better. <laughs> Yeah, I was wondering, like, how are they going so fast? Yeah, they should be moving like this. Oh. I wonder, how many Argentina sources could exist in a single... Oh, that's not finished. When that's finished, that would be a great picture. Yes. At a single time... Down in South America, how many Argentina sources can exist? I don't know if there's a study done that estimated, loosely estimated, that about 20,000 T Rexes could exist at a single time in their range. 
Um, I wonder what it would be like for an animal as massive as this, like five, five Argentinosauruses at a time. Oh, hello there. Sorry, I shined the light in your face. No, 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 no. That, that is it. That's thumbnail material. There we go. Oh, man. And remember, they all need names. So we have three males, three females. In my own time, I'm filling out the zoo. Adding stuff, like adding lights. Coloring the lights so you know the different sections. That kind of thing. Adding trees, adding restaurants. I added this little area here. I didn't know what to do with this middle bit. So I just added this walkway. It's like a foresty greenhouse area. Oh, wait a minute. I completely forgot. I was gonna put uh, Microraptor Archaeopteryx in here. Well, <laughs> not doing that now. Maybe next episode. And yeah, I'm liking how it's coming along. We're nearing the end. Now it's just the Hell Creek dinosaurs that will be in this section. So, three more episodes. We're almost done. It's kind of sad, but there will always be more content with updates, mods, new builds, that sort of thing. But remember, if you enjoyed this episode, to please leave a like, subscribe, and check out my social media. See you next time.